course, we're going to get the classic Sephiroth new Brawler matchup. Wouldn't have it any other way. Neither would I. And we're going to see some more of the use. I believe Jules in a confident spot right now. I think he got kind of a download on Sadaru. Maybe. Absolutely. And, you know, after being down 2-1 to win two in a row and now be on winner's side, let's see what new tricks Sadaru has. Absolutely. Sadaru is also going to have to go through two grueling sets. Especially after playing two in a row. Yeah. If he wants to get this win on Jules. On the other hand, he must be feeling hot. I mean, two good wins against Bobby. Yeah. Maybe Sadaru's feeling it right now. Absolutely. That's a PR player that he's beating. And Sadaru, quite oh. new to the scene, almost the getting out with the Nair so Bear. right now playing very disciplined. And great bear by Jules. Gonna take that stock first. Jules is really good at not throwing out any moves until he knows one's gonna hit. Or at least apply good pressure. Ooh, Absolutely. I'll be missing. Sadru gets the grab and the advantage take, and it's gonna be enough for the kill. Back and forth, both players at two stocks. Only a 20% lead for Jules right now. Absolutely, and he's gonna actually extend that to about 60% with this Boy great there. tech chase here. They're not gonna connect, however. So, uh, Sadaru gets back in uh, advantage. Sadaru playing this much more aggressively than I played against Bobby, kind of baiting Jules to come and fight him, and then running back, swinging with his own. Amazingly long sword. Me Brawl is close range. I mean, it rivals the best. And I'm sure Sadu would know that. Absolutely. And he knows Jules wants to be close to him. So he's like, Jules, come here. Come <laughs> as close as you like. With a big sword ready and waiting. Exactly. With a big sword ready to skewer you. Right here, I mean. What? See, the border is coming out by Jules. He has the advantage state. Sadu's upbees nice right here are very, very... Good. Sephiroth has an excellent ledge game, even in quote unquote disadvantage. Absolutely, and that down B not going to take it quite yet. Oh. Great pair by Sadaru. And there it is. Duels right now are down a stock, and not anymore. Both sides at one stock. Absolutely. They're coming out. A bit of a statement by Sadaru. Yes, both of these players. Just building up the percent they think they need, but Sadaru in a slight lead. However, Jules can take that back in a heartbeat. We know how good his boxing is. Ooh, not even get it to not be up tilt for Jules. Unfortunate for him, but that's gonna equal percents right now. Ooh, and that up not gonna connect. Jules missing a few key hits right now. And it might be the difference. Right now, both sides are second that. And right there is the one wing. Maybe the difference maker. Jules was looking for a kill there, but I ain't able to find the hit that he wanted. The tech chase? Ooh, he that. goes for the jab lock, actually, and uh, unfortunately for him, fails. Hit, yeah. Nice up air Great up air to Sorry. cover platform, especially reverse. And Absolutely. Both of these uh, players living on their last legs here. It's just gonna be who's gonna be the one to get the kill first. Go down B and that F tilt is gonna take it. Jules unable to DI that. With um, the, the B brawler version of Quick Kick. He was oh, definitely yeah. DI in the wrong way there. Definitely. And Sadaru taking game one, but it's still very much an uphill battle for the Sephiroth here. Going to Hollow Bastion. We're gonna see how this works for uh Maybe the home field advantage. Sort of. I mean, you know, Sephiroth was in the cards. I don't think this is his state, but... No, it is enough. not. However, home field advantage could actually come into play here. Is I feel like Sephiroth's up air is very good for platform Absolutely. pressure on this stage. Nice and wide platform. Perfect for that up air. And 
Jules, and this was Jules' counterfeit, so let's see what Jules likes about this stage. Maybe coming into play right now. Jules going for it all with the downer off stage. Absolutely. And Jules getting a solid lead here, but this is how game one started as well. And you can see at the top how that ended out. Absolutely. Sadaru just needs to keep doing what he's doing. And the second he gets the wing, I mean, you can call it a lead, but until the stock's gone. Yeah, until the stock's Roger's gone, you're worried. never really safe or comfortable. Speaking of the stock yeah, being the gone, stock is gone. Great shot put by Jules. Only 56 on this uh, brawler here. And commanding lead, absolutely. Oh, nice commanding combo. lead. Indeed. Almost lapping Sadaru percent and actually. Now, yeah. See, it seems like Jules just has the lock on this one. Jules managing to recover. And that Uppy yeah, will not take it. Yeah. Brawler's Uppy is always so scary, but so far Jules hasn't been able to get a kill with it yet. Great nice. counter by Sadaru. Going to take the stock, bring it to 2-2. Two to two. He still has that wing, but he is at 97, so one good hit from Jules will end it here. Jules definitely looking for that one hit. Some up tilts on Sadaru's shield. He knew Sadaru didn't have an air dodge. He knew he had to get back to stage somehow, and he knew Sadaru's uh, like for the uh, up B back to stage. And Sadaru, though, actually going to be putting on 50% on Jules really quickly. Just a couple slashes of that amazing blade. And um, I don't know. Jules is doing what Jules does, and that Nair will take it. Right now, I mean, Sadu is certainly down, almost a full stock, but he, he he's has, definitely not with out. His comeback mechanic, I mean, I'm not willing to call anything. Else. Down air, not gonna connect to the stage. Jules able to recover yet again. Sadu only needs one down air though, and that brawler will be dead meat. And speaking of dead meat, this one-winged angel could definitely help with that. And there it is, the forward air managing to connect off stage. Great, great Stop. play by Sadaru. And 91% on this uh, Sephiroth here, but. You can tell Sadaru is terrified of that upbeat. Oh, he yeah. air dodge as the up tilt. Ooh, a bit of an advantage thing for Sadaru here. Looking for the ledge trap, doesn't get it. No, nope, 32 on Jules, though. Each hit Jules takes is closer and closer to Sadaru making a comeback. Oh, the parry, that could have been disastrous, but Sadaru able to make it work. Run back into shield. And Sadaru really bringing this back, honestly. 79, that's solid. Only Jules whiffing the up smash. Jules going back to his tried and true play style, camping at mid range, jumping around, and then striking with it back here. Yeah, that empty double jump really mixed Sadaru up, but he was able to get out of the situation safely. Can't say the same for Jules and uh, this percent lead, though. It's ticking away as we speak, and We're that could have been it. And oh, that oh. back air will do it. Do it. Great it. hit by Sadaru. Gonna Ooh, take oh. game two back. It looks like this Sephiroth, my friend, is on fire. <laughs> very true, Cal. And it's looking very good for Sadaru right now. Wait, what should I call you again? Drip. <laughs> Drip? Call me Drip. Drip. Like a, yeah, a lot of it. Yes, um, drip. And we are going to be same matchup. Jules is confident. He's like, you managed to eke that one out away from me. However, I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen again. Make sure that I am the one who takes this game and the next and the next and sends you home with the silver medal. Jules is maybe just getting the download, you know, three game download. And then, uh, you know, true finals, he's just going to come out swinging. Or maybe he's just going to end it here. Right now, a small lead for Jules. But uh, Sutter is going to take that gone. right back. <laughs> nice snare coming out from Sutter. And that's going to be more and more advantage. Well done down air. Jules waits, however. Up B through the ledge gets Jules out of disadvantage. And right back into disadvantage with grab for Sutter. That oh. F-Smash is going to do it. He was at, like, 40, Absolutely. 50? That was brutal. And, I mean, 
you know, Sephiroth's up B is very powerful, very loud. Very Holy risky shit. indeed, and Sadaru was like, I'm gonna take the risk, and Jules was like, wrong decision. Yep. Speaking of wrong decision, oh, Jules is just you running away off of a couple wrong decisions oh, by the Sephiroth. And as Steve from Sadaru, you hate to see it. You do indeed hate to see it. If I were Sadaru, I would just chill this game. I still he have two more to take it. it. That's very true. Sadaru is saying, listen, you're trying to get the download, I'll get the two game download, and then win game five. Move into true finals and it's exactly. as well. Dude, I hope it's not game 10 grands. I do not want to be here for that <laughs> It is. I also want to get some matches in, so if it does also, go to second set, I'm probably going to hop off. <laughs> I'll try and uh, take it alone. Absolutely. And we're going to see just more hits trading. The one wing back, but Sadaru, honestly, I think he's following what I said. And he's not really trying too hard, just trying to figure Jules out this game right now. Definitely both sides are playing a lot of neutral, not aggressing too hard. Well, it's like go off stage. Good F throw. Ledge. That F throw kind of deadly. Oh, the shot, shot put, put gonna not going to take it just yet. At 140, you'd think it kill, but Sephiroth, I guess, isn't that light. Not as light as the Sephiroth mains, maybe. Good uh, grab on the up smash, and that is going to be a death. Sadaru actually might be able to take this one back. However, one wing is gone, so it would have to be a vanilla Roth. He's not grabbed the ledge. He has invincibility. Yep. And yep, there's some hits. Without the wing, I mean, Sephiroth's still scary, and he has advantage right now. Sadaru could bring it to true finals right now. The up smash. Great Barely. spacing on the nair, though. Back throw not going to be it just yet. Oh, and that shot put hit. will definitely do this it right there. Going to do it. Jules getting himself on the board in these grand finals. One, two. I mean, you know, <laughs> I was talking about, you know, true grand, but maybe not. Maybe Jules are just going to take it right now. Going with uh, some Persona music. Absolutely. I personally am on board. You're personally on board, some may say. <laughs> but, um, ooh, the cloud? Not Sadu entirely sure cloud. why Sadaru has decided to go cloud. I think he wants a change of pace. I think he wants a mix-up. And I know he loves his Final Fantasy characters. They're very, very skilled with both of them. So we're going to have to see how he does here. And immediately misfacing a backer is not the greatest way to start. Sadaru is saying, listen, I can drop this game and still go to game five and still win that. So I'll bust out the cloud now and see how it goes against the game. Absolutely. And 47 to 46 seems to be going all right. But this disadvantage is going to be pretty bad. Cloud's disadvantage state, not the best at ledge. He struggles more than Sephiroth. Jules Going for that up air, um, up air finishing touch, I believe. Good parry from Jules, unable to capitalize it. Yeah, that move, very, very high air drift and, um. Oh, great trade by Sadaru. Saw that coming, was aware and was like, you're coming with me. Jules really couldn't do anything there. Yes, however, Jules would have left him dead. getting this advantage right here. Good dare. And that side B is going to bring it back to just about even. It's close right now. These spaced bears are everything for Cloud. They're his bread and butter, his meat and potatoes, his uh, ketchup and mustard. Uh, no, I can't sure, think of yep. any more, but they're all for him. And this limit is a great way to finish off stocks, especially with that finishing touch. Oh, missing the cross yeah, the cross slash does not connect, unfortunately. But oh, no, Sadaru going for the upbeat kill again. Yeah, Sadaru in advantage right now, and he's able to keep this percent relatively even here. I feel like Cloud is better at killing in this situation Absolutely. than Brawler is. But that's going to be a dash attack, and Brawler now with advantage, so we'll have to see how it ends up. Brawler still with the advantage. Yes, indeed. Great parry, and that down tilt will hit, and the Nair will Nair take it. Great weight by Jules. Jules really good at using those kinds of Nair's down the tilt. Smash. Won't kill instantly, but they'll certainly combo, or at least get him into the college game. Yeah, I feel like Jules, he struggles with killing, but not because of his uh, character struggling with killing, but because of just his methodicality and That's how, it. like, precise he is with everything. Hey, regardless of uh, if there are some downsides, it's worked thus far. Absolutely. Getting him to uh, grand finals in winner's side. However, 
down 2-1 versus Sadaru here. Against Sadaru's Cloud, sparing about as well as he did versus Sephiroth. Right now, Sadaru has not hit a single limit hit of any kind, and that might be the difference here. It also might not, seeing that Sadaru has advantage state and a 50% lead. The Nair from Jules trying to catch him, but unfortunately for him, unable to do so. And that down air not going to spike if it had, would have sent us right to true finals. However, with the limit, sub, not entirely sure what I that assume that was a miss. Probably. Good read on the roll in by Sadaru and the upbeat getting him out of the And that back air will do it. We're going to true finals. To true finals. And I'm actually going to hop off the mic now because I want to go play some games. Sounds good. Awesome awesome commentating with you, dude. Now. And stream, I'll see you later. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at YoungCloudGodNE. Peace. And stream, you cannot follow me on Twitter because I don't have one. But you can follow me uh, right here as we go into True Finals. If someone would like to commentate with me, I am just sitting here alone. And I would not mind a bit of commentary. Well, regardless of if someone else comes through that door, we're going to see a very entertaining True Grand Finals reset. For some reason, uh, Sadru has gone back to the Sephiroth. He felt the cloud was good just for that one game, just to perhaps scare Jules a bit, and he's gone right back to Sephiroth. Right now, they're exchanging blows. Just a few Aaron hits on both sides. We're looking at about 20% for each side. There's the classic advantage state that New Brawler loves so much. New Brawler, not the most common character, but that's not because they're weak. I mean, if you look at this advantage state, I mean, Jules is piled on 95, 113%, just from one or two neutral wins. And Jules has just had a commanding lead right now. Almost taking the stock, and finally, indeed, taking the stock with a single advantage state. Right now, I mean, Jules is looking great. Sadra, on the other hand, getting the up throw, but not capitalizing. Jules has only taken 34% right now. Right now, Jules back in advantage state. Hasn't lapped Satru in a percent quite yet, but he's getting there. Especially with his deadly advantage state. And he's going to side beam off the stage. A classic me brawler suicide kill. And right now, I mean, Jules is taking a commanding lead. Jules looks extremely comfortable in this position. I mean, right now, just out neutraling Sadra at every step of the way. He's kind of abandoned his kind of neutral gameplay of staying a bit far, and he's just straight up run in, gone for the grabs, gone for the up tilts, up airs, and it's worked. That said, Sadra is saying not so fast, getting a bit of advantage state on his own. The duel's again back in advantage. Now, I mean, Sadra is at 113. Anything can kill. Sadru has two stocks uh, and is only at 65%. Sadru's gonna need to make a miracle happen, and that's the start. A good forward air off of, uh, stage again, getting an early kill. He's down 131, but uh, Sadru does have the wing and three orbs. And the shield break! Is this going to kill at 19%? Yes, it will. Satru gets game one of True Grand Finals with an <laughs> excellent shield break at 13%. I mean, that is the exact opposite of what you want to see as Jules. I mean, it's True Grand Finals right now. No games can be wasted. And Satru manages to steal that one as we head into game two. Start the battle. Brawler. And both sides going to go with their, you know, main. That brought the Brawler. I mean, that game, it's hard to, like, figure out what exactly happened. Jules looked so dominant, but that one mistake holding shield cost him the game. I'm not sure what the players player is thinking. And 
Sotru clearly thinks he's got this in the back, but he has a commanding 40% start. Going win with a down air. But now Duels is coming right back, exchanging blows. Both sides at 50% off one neutral win. It seems like both sides are heating up with their combo game, saying, screw neutral, we're going in. Uh, and we're going to keep you off stage. Duels losing advantage state, but getting it right back. Sotru in a bit of a juggle state, but uh, we're back to neutral. Sotru is down 40%, but he has the win. It's hard to say uh, that there's a community for either side right now. Nice upbeat coming from, not upbeat, uh, downbeat coming from Duel. And the shop are going to take the stock. You know, Sephiroth has great offstage game, big sword. Big swords don't. Sadly, slice the projectiles. Jules capitalizing off that. Jules once again with the lead and an advantage state. Now, Sato going off stage. That counter might do it. Another counter certainly will. Sato is even back up, only a 20% deficit. Solid percent, not going to kill yet. Rules again in command. Right now, 70% up. Sephiroth's been at ledge for a long time now. And finally going to run out of jumps. Lose his stock. Rules again with the stock. As long as he can avoid another shield break, it's looking great for him. Sotru turns that down to the around, missing the counter, and now Sotru's back at disadvantage. So not so long. Right now, Sotru's retaking advantage. And he's immediately lost it. It's a really back and forth brawl right now. Rules with a good grab, throwing Sotru off stage. Let's see if he can capitalize. And he can, but they're coming out, going to kill. Jules takes game two, comes back from a tough game one loss. Thus far through two games, although you know Sotru's won a game, Jules has looked really dominant in neutral. And they're gonna go with Final Destination. I believe that's the first time we've seen Final Destination. Battle, uh, Maybe that's because Sotru has decided to go back to Cloud, hasn't been satisfied with Sephiroth. Decides, you know what, we're gonna mix it up again, switch back to the Cloud. Although Cloud and Sephiroth have key differences, they're both, you know, one of those long-range, somewhat slow attacks, and Jules is really good at playing just outside of the range uh, that Sotru likely wants, and then running in with a grab and up tilt to get something going. There it is, a spot dodge. He loses it. Jules with the cross -off. Is currently in advantage state. And he loses it with a fair off of ledge coming from Sotru. Sotru now has advantage. He's gonna go off stage for the cross slash and is going to take the stock. What an aggressive play from Sotru, and it works perfectly. Sotru now with a small uh, lead up a stock. He's at a high percent, but Duels hasn't found a kill yet. Back here coming out from Jules. Cloud is far off stage, but Ned is coming back. An upbeat coming from Sotru. Great get off from Jules. And right now, Jules is struggling to find an opening. 
Coming out! Oh, the finishing touch! What a play from Satoru. Taking the stock at roughly 60%. Cross slash. Satoru is looking great. This cloud pick seems to have done the trick. Up two stocks. He's at 163, which is a testament how great his offstage game has been. Finally loses the stock pick. Rolls down a stock. Not over by any stretch. Right now, you have Satoru again with the cloud. You know, exchanging blows, and that's honestly all Satoru really needs to do. Satoru has limited again. The up tilt's gonna get parried, but Jules can't capitalize. Jules would love nothing more than just to, uh, for Satoru to burn his limit, but Satoru holding on to it finally loses it because of time. Rolls now in an advantage state. He needs to take the stock here. Ooh, and he doesn't. Get up attack from stock here. Great wall jump coming in from Satru. His offstage game. Cloud not known for his offstage game. Satru's mansion revived for a while. But Jules does take the stock here. Forward air coming from Satru. Jules is offstage. We have reset to neutral. Both sides, both players playing very close, getting right up there. Jules knows he needs to come back, and Sadru knows he needs just one good hit to take the game. And there it is. Maybe not. The back here not managing to kill. Jules now starting to build some kind of comeback. Clouds at 57%. Obviously not enough to kill yet, but I mean, oh, well that's not what you like to see. Jules down viewing into the glass zone. Satsu takes the win. Right now, Satsuru one game away, despite what the uh, counter on top says. Jules needs two games in a row to reclaim his spot at the top. Despite what the counter says, unless I am losing it, Satoru is up two games to one. Um, Jules, you know, he's played well thus far. For some reason, Satoru has again switched to Sephiroth. Uh, at this point, he's playing mind games. Uh, I can't understand it. And Jules seemingly can understand it because he's gone off to an early lead that has quickly evaporated. Now both players coming back and forth. Jules is down 30%, but nothing significant. Um, Jules now in advantage state. Loses at advantage state. Missing the back air. And Sautra is going to put him with an up throw into the air. Um, yeah, Sautra is using his advantage state. Just keeping it there. Ooh, finally losing it. Good air coming out from Jules. Again, down 40%. For me, Brawler, this isn't a ton. Brawler, great with the offstage plays. Love those nares and backers coming out, which can take early stops. Jules playing very defensively here. Going back through his approach, staying out of range, drawing out a back air or two. Maybe not. Jules close to the down air offstage, doesn't connect. But Jules has been in advantage state for a while now. Brought the percent lead back. Let's see if he can take the stock. Slaughtered away by Satu. Satu gets a clean counter. <laughs> Satu again with the lead. Um, and the lead is gone. An up smash coming off the Jules.
Patru right now, um, doing great. He built up a 60% lead. Mostly just through a very long kind of expansion state where, you know, good poking tools, able to keep tools in the air and off stage. Jules is, you know, back on stage, back on the but he's still down a solid 70%. That lead is gone. Duels in advantage. String together a hair of a forward end. Sotter missing a test, and now he's going far into his advantage there. His lead basically gone. Great recovery for Duels. Right now, uh, both players on their second stock. Uh, and unless I am mistaken, Sajiri should be one game away from winning at all. Um, and he's gonna get even closer now. One stock away from the set. Um, right now, coming out with the uh, Sephiroth. He's built a command lead. Although he's at 116, I mean, he has a stock lead, he has advantage. He's looking great for him right now. <laughs> a beautiful grab is from the air. Fucking fuels up. <laughs> And Satu will not let his stock go. This might prove pivotal. Finally loses it. A solid back is coming out from Duel. Will go into last stock of 40% lead for Satu. In a crucial game spot, uh, for him. Nice downer coming up from Satu. Both sides drawing it out. Uh, so far, Jules with a slight disadvantage, 25%. Um, but both sides are playing this one very well right now. Satoru again not throwing out too many moves until now when he gets the neutral win in advantage. Throwing out the nares, the backers. Both sides very close right now. Although both sides at 90%, probably not going to die in one hit. Maybe a kill confirm, maybe an offstage play will decide this game. Oh, the factor coming up from Jules. Sadra sucks deep off stage, getting hit by a, um, a side beat. <laughs> up smash out of shield will do it, easily killing Sadra. Um, the counter says Jules has won. Again, to reiterate, Jules is, was down to one. It is now 2 2. We're looking at game nine, grand finals reset. Uh, both sides, you know, very, very close the entire time. Let's see what stage they end up on. Yep, as I said, 2 2. Uh, ignore the counter. I am right, of course, as I always am. Um, so it is currently 2 2. Game five, we're looking at a grand finals reset uh, game five. And this is what you love to see. I mean, both players have had their explosive moments. You know, Jewel is more methodical, you know, with the back airs, the discipline, um, spacing. Satru has been more explosive right now, getting some kills at 10%, at 20%. And we'll see which kind of strategy pays off here. Right now, the decision is Sephiroth or Cloud. Cloud technically 2-0, but Satu feels comfortable with the Sephiroth. He knows when things get tough, Sephiroth's gonna clutch. They end up on Final Destination, a very fitting location for the final game. Busting out the Xenoblade Chronicles music, and that is what I love to see. Satu taking a quick 40% lead. F tilts coming up from Jules. Jules loves these very fast options. The Nair, the up tilt, the F tilt. Me Brawler specialize in getting those chip hits that lead into huge combos. Strings after strings. And now, Satru is on stage with a huge 57% deficit. Jules could be looking to take the stock. Ooh, a nice reversal from Satru back here. Sato gets the tech away, managed to avoid the down smash of Jules. That might be pivotal here. Jules! The side beat not going to do it. 
Duelist with the Nair though, coming out, killing Saku. Saku's down to two stars. Duelist right now with a commanding lead, a full stock ahead, only at 90%. You know, Sephiroth can work some magic. It's going to be hard to kill here. Oh, the up B will be that magic though. Connecting all of the hits of um, whatever that move's called <laughs> onto uh, right. Jules. <laughs> right now, although Sautru's down a solid 15%, I mean, he's going to get the wing soon. He seems to be stringing together more and more hits. I wouldn't say either side is fairly comfortable. Again, in advantage, trying to juggle. The backers are coming out in force for Jules. He wants to stop. The classic double jump. Draw to Nair, draw to Nair. It's done wonders for Jules, but Satchel might be catching on. A lot of empty hops coming out from Jules in neutral. Finally, the F tilt actually managed to take advantage, but not able to close anything out. Both sides above 100 at two stocks in game five. This is as close as it gets, folks. I mean, we're looking at some classic neutral right now. Neither side wanting to give an inch. Jules, you know, flying around with his air mobility, something that Satru can only dream of, man. Right now, managing to close it. Bring a bit of pressure onto Satru. The backer's gonna connect. Satru is off stage. But some orbs on Jules is gonna prevent some any kind of action from happening. And now Satru is the one. Oh no! Meant to throw an up out. Got the side B instead. Jules SD stock. But he gets it right back. It's gonna be last stock, game five. And this is what you like to see. Both sides duping it out. I mean. Who knows who has the upper hand right now, because both sides are playing right. great. Even after the SD tools are composed, he's off stage right now, but he's using all of his options to down be getting him out of disadvantage. Right now, Jules has a slight lead of 35%. Not enough for a kill right now, but he's getting there. Satoru getting comboed with some up airs, classic Mario style. Jules again in advantage, 103. A solid back air off stage will kill. Shot put, not going to. Oh my, you hate to see it. Satru misses his upbeat, doesn't go far enough. Falls into the pit and loses. Jules winning game five. Uh, and honestly, a great set all around. Jules takes the tournament, you know, coming back um, in winner's side, but coming back down. Uh, losing, you know, the first set, and it's been a great, 